Hey guys, Nate Jones with Philcraft Survival. What I wanna talk about today is the Mobility Trauma Kit, the MTK. Uh, this kit has, I think, everything in it that is a perfect launching point for having a full first aid kit, specifically for trauma, uh, with everything that you're gonna to need to treat something along the way through a March assessment, which is being able to ultimately find and treat all injuries. So going over some of these components, uh, I wanna show you what we have in here and and talk a little bit about how they might be used. So the first and most easily recognizable piece of equipment inside of here is the soft tee, right? Having a tourniquet inside of the kit is the perfect launching point. It's the most easily recognizable piece of, of trauma equipment these days. Carrying a tourniquet uh, on or around your person is, is really what is probably the absolute bottom of the barrel for making sure that we have something to be more prepared, right? Next, we have the Olias bandage. The Olias bandage to me uh, is, is one of the absolute best pressure dressings that are out there on the market today. And that is basically because inside of here I have wound packing material and I have the, the pressure dressing that most people are familiar with, with the gauze pad, and then maybe being able to wrap around all the edges. With that as well, next most important item, other than the tourniquet, is a hemostatic agent. And we've got a roll of combat gauze in here. This is what we're gonna use for other massive hemorrhaging that might be too high for a tourniquet. Uh, places like the armpit and the groin, so we're gonna have a wound packing material impregnated with the hemostatic agent that goes and tells the body to, to send more clotting factors to stop bleeding. All right, and with that, I've got regular gauze that comes with it. Usually I want the combat gauze to always come in contact with the source of the bleed. If I'm still trying to either fill a cavity or I need more pressure to keep a cone of force on the source of the bleed, I use things like regular, uh, regular gauze to, to pack in behind it. The next best thing is going to be twin pack of hyphen chest seals. So depending on what injury patterns you might have, you've got any penetrating chest trauma, navel to neck, I've got something that I can seal the chest wall that way I don't have air getting inside, putting pressure on my, my organs inside of my chest wall. Moving on to the A in a March assessment, I have a nasopharyngeal airway, which uh, there's a lot more studies about these lately that show that the way that we've been measuring them might not be always the most helpful. So making sure that you're up to date on how these are used and when to use them is, is super important. I've got my gloves to keep myself safe. After airway, I move on to respirations. So that's where, again, where my chest seals come in. Circulation, I'm gonna basically do whatever I can to promote perfusion. Stack all that stuff there. Uh, then I've got some of my other, we call them non, maybe non-life threatening uh, materials. So I've got things like trauma shears in here. Uh, with that, I've also got a triangular bandage, uh, a cravat. This is one of the most universal pieces of equipment too. I love sticking these inside of my kits because back before we had manufactured tourniquets, but we had to make improvised tourniquets out of things like this. There's using these for things like slings and swaths, tons of other uh, multi-purposes. I can make pressure dressings out of these. Super universal piece of, uh, of equipment. I've got two eye shields in here. This is basically to help uh, make sure that there's not gonna be any external pressure on the eyes after uh, any eye injury. Because it is a mobility trauma kit where we assume that this is gonna be inside of a vehicle, burns are a super common injury. And so we've got burn dressing uh, that we wanted to throw inside of the kit as well. That way we're able to make sure that we treat burns appropriately. And Last but not least, I have a survival blanket. This is the absolute smallest size of a survival blanket that I would use, but anything to create the extra layers to be able to reflect heat. I want to aggressively and quickly stop the body from losing body heat in any traumatic situation, and that's why I wanna make sure that preventing hypothermia with things like survival blankets is a super mandatory piece of, of equipment. Uh, it's the very end of my March assessment. H is hypothermia, head injury, and calling for help, and so, that's why we have that in there. So again, this is a perfect launching point for, for taking care of all things trauma. Everyone always asks me like, what do, I, what do I want or what do I need? What should I pack? And really at the end of the day, that boils down to going through a March assessment. I'm building my kits around an assessment, which is finding and treating preventable causes of death, not just throwing in a bunch of random pieces of kit. 
And when I'm going through and finding and treating injuries, I want the tools to be able to intervene inside of those categories. And that's what the mobility trauma kit is. This mobility trauma kit is a one-stop shop for having a ton of different tools that I'm gonna want to treat a wide variety of injuries. Make sure you get in there, you pull everything out. You don't wanna leave your tourniquet inside of, a, inside of a Ziploc bag, inside of its plastic. Pull everything out, stage it in the places that you think that you need to have it staged. That way everything's ready and accessible. Uh, last thing is, come to training. Again, it's all well and great to, to see the stuff inside of a video, but come to training, come get the coaching and the mentoring where someone can check your work, where you can understand more of the context that you might want to use some of these materials in and then therefore how to stage them. Get the long form discussion, the question and answer throughout the course of the day. That way you, you have the tools that you need and they're only as effective though as the training that you have behind them. So come to training.